An up and down season for United ended in summer 2002 with the Blades falling short of achieving a playoff place. Devlin waiting, can he get there? Yes he can! And Sheffield tonight at a level! Paul Devlin! goes down under a challenge and that's a penalty. The Frenchman has a chance to score here, left footed, and he does score. Cossack's throw, deep into the box, Murphy trying to put the ball on. Devlin back into the melting pot again, Murphy, Asaba! Terrific goal, absolutely terrific.
Montgomery capitalises. Bobby Ford then. Into the box it goes. There's Paul Furlong! Paul Furlong scores for Sheffield United on his debut. It's Kraut. Gives it away. Montgomery sends it high and over the top. Now Sheffield United might have a chance on here. Carla Saba will capitalise on a bad mistake and steer the ball home. Deep into the box it goes. Takeoka will knock it down. Here is Brown. Trying to dribble his way forward. That's a penalty, surely. And the ex-blade Sean Derry gives it away. Well, this has been some game. 3-3. Paul Furlong to win it. He has won it for Sheffield United. Two goals on his debut as well for Paul Furlong. Brown's free kick. Deep into the box, and that's an own goal by Colin Woodthorpe. Pescasolino! Lovely shot, the keeper had no chance with that. Here is Tong. Still Michael Tong, held away by the goalkeeper, and Peter Unlove with quick reactions to make it 3 0. No prizes, but United's youngsters had shown immense promise. Right from the word go, five drawn games, the first five games. And we've never really been in a, in a threatening position, although we've had opportunities. Uh, goal scoring has been very, very poor, and, and that's really cost us dear. You mentioned the goal scoring there. The midfield have been chipping in, but what, what do you think the, the basic problem has been up front? I don't think the midfield have been chipping in until the end of the season. You know, Michael Brown did quite well, but other than that, uh, it's only been the latter end of the season that, that we've got goals from there. Um, but overall, just missed opportunities, really. We've had enough chances. Uh, I don't know how many drawn games we've had, but I know at least, apart from one game I, I can remember, every drawn game that we've had, we should have won the game. We've had an enormous number of opportunities and we've, we've seen fit to miss absolute cities this season for some reason and hopefully it's, it's a one-off. I'm happy with how the season's gone and I'm um, just looking forward to next season now. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed it. As I say, there's a lot, lot of uh, young lads here and uh, it's, nice, it's nice to all be together. Phil, at the start of the season, if someone had said you going to play for the first team, score a goal and become an England international, would you believe them? Um, well, I'd high, I'd high hopes for the season, but I think that would have been a bit too much. Um, I was just hoping to um, get a couple of games under my belt this year. And um, I scored a couple, which has um, always been a bonus. And how pleasing, you've come through the youth system here, there's, there's a lot of players the same, so I suppose you're playing with your mates, aren't you? Yeah, it's quite strange, eh? quite a lot of lads that have had a chance this year, I've been playing regular, ta regular reserve team football with last year, so it's just been great. It's uh, been a great season for me since I come into the side and I think it was September maybe. I've played way more games than I thought and uh, I've really enjoyed it. You look at some of the best teams in the world and there's a lot of youngsters there who have been through all the ranks together and um, as I say I've played youth team level and reserves and you know just it's nice to know how other players play on the pitch. If someone said to you at the start of the season you're going to play be for the first team regular and gain international honours, would you believe them? Probably not. Um, it seems to all happen very quickly. I mean, it, a lot of people usually say that, but it has. And uh, if I do look at where I was this time last year, I uh, wouldn't have thought that at all. And Young Player of the Year? Yeah, it's a special honour really, but I know Monty won it last year. And I think it's just a case of uh, a bit of recognition for breaking through into the side, really. I think for next season, uh, with, with the young lads we're getting in, uh, hopefully we can push for the playoffs. And um, I, think, I think we can do that, um, hopefully do as well as we can. Try and do, finish as high as possible in the top ten and really try and push for the playoffs. But we, um, I just want to play as many games as possible again and uh, try and do well. From our point of view, it's really exciting that the youngsters have come on and, and really enjoying themselves because I think the fans can see that. And I think it's the best group we've had for a, a number of years, I think 20, 30 years. Uh, you mentioned Michael Tong, he's got you know, under-19 under recognition and... Jaggy Elka under 20 recognition. You've got Brown who would get in most teams, I think, now, even in the Premier League. Uh, you've got Ben Doan who's come into his own. We've got two centre backs in Crosson and Colin Crying, very young, but are coming through. Look like they'll get the chance this next season. A couple of strikers in Killeen and Mallon who have given a taste of substitutes in the first team to whet their appetite. You know, cracking players. And, and, and there's quite a few more from the academy as well and that promise would blossom come August in the start of a new campaign.
The season opened for the Blades at Coventry's Highfield Road. But a 1-0 lead had been reversed by half-time and a barrage of second-half pressure from the Blades went unrewarded. Hollithorne. Finally, Michael Brown has been double-banked, but Hollithorne stays in support, whips it in. Cleared only as far as Michael Tong. Jackie Elka looks to try and play it into the area. And this is Carla Saba. Neat play. Lovely goal as well from Carla Saba. And the Blades are up and running, and they start the new season with a bang. Carla Saba. Short. Deep ball up towards Bothroyd. And this is Lauren Delorge. And his cannon shot. He's up and over the top, but he looks in a little bit of discomfort. And look at the reaction from Peter Unlove there. Looks nasty. And there's the stretcher, so Lauren Delorge. Callister's corner kick swept in. Bothroyd gets a touch on it, cleared off the line by Olathorn, but the goal is given by the referee, and Jay Bothroyd pulls Coventry level. Coventry building now. Played in towards Gary McCheffrey on the outside of Kosluk and smashes it home. Lovely goal, and Gary McCheffrey gives Coventry the lead. Now on love. Played in towards Carla Saba. Nice turn, beats the keeper, but can't beat the post. United searching for an equaliser. Tom played here towards Peter on love. Nicks it past his marker. Good save by Hildgard and turned away. Our first visitors of the season were Portsmouth. The home draw might have disappointed at the time, but weeks later, with Pompey runaway leaders of Division 1, it would look like a decent result. Scrappy down this near side, this is Burton. And now Jackie Elka plays the ball for, for Asaba. Who breaks down temporarily, but Amura gets it going again. Here is Tong. On love outside him. Peter on love do here on the far right hand side. He's lost out to Matthew Taylor. Tonight will nick it back again. Murphy. A long ball forward. Oh, a bit of a mistake there. And Peter on love's in here for Sheffield United and scores for Sheffield United. Awful mistake at the back, but the Blades are in front. Kosler is the goal scorer, Peter Onlo. Now Tong. Tong might fancy it from here, he does. It's a good save in the end from Shaka Hislop. Hislop's clearance. The header in the air by Sean Murphy. Jagielka. And now Tong. Good run this from Michael Tong. Needs support though. Still with Tong, right footed this time. But Hislop equal to it. Here's Asaba looking to take on Hayden Fox. Asaba waiting for options. Is he fouled there by Hayden Fox? Yes, he is. Paul Merson not happy with the decision. Blades have a free kick here. Ullathorn will leave it. And Brown will deliver. Hits it straight off the wall. Brown's corner then. Swung in deep this time. Murphy leaps for it. And Muir is in there as well. Bit of a scrap. This is Yates. Good save by Hislop. Danger not clear yet though. This is Brown. Good play from Michael Brown in towards Asaba. And he felt he'd won a corner there. And Portsmouth still looking for equaliser, of course. Pericard loses out. And this is Carl Asaba, who was fouled there. The Blades have a free kick in a pretty good position as well.
plenty of options around this ball. Brown will leave it, it'll be Rob Ollathorne to try and clip it in. Hislop gets down low to make the save. Here's Pericard for Merson, lifting it over the top, and this is Dion Burton. This is a good chance for Portsmouth to equalise. And Dion Burton has got the equaliser. Now Portsmouth coming forward with Robinson. Good looking cross towards Burton again. And he's just put that one wide. Unlock. Rosaba. Nice play from United. And Yura. And Yura was fouled as he played that forward for Jagielka. Brown this time to lift the ball in towards Murphy! Ever so close, just a whisker away. Kosler, Paton, faced by Robinson. Now Unlove wants it. Unlove from a long way out. Wasn't far wide in the end. Now this is Paul Merson with a good opportunity for Portsmouth. And he tried the cheeky chip. Penny was equal to it. And Yura brings it down. Patong. 1 1 here. On the overlap is Brown. He'll go for goal. His lock spills, but it won't come to United player. Jagielko with another chance to whip the ball in. Asaba's header just over the top. again it was you and he's won a corner as well for his troubles plenty of bodies forward here for United Murphy and Yates are up from the back it's in towards the front post but steered away by Pompey but picked up by Kozluk Great at Hislop. Now this is Dion Burton with Merson making a run forward. That's the target. Murphy slips and Merson's in here trying to stab it past Kenny. But a good block from the Blades goalkeeper. I thought we should have won that game. I think Harry came in the dressing room into my office after and said he was very grateful of a point. He thought that you know we should at the end they, they were hanging him for a point, but uh, it, we didn't know then obviously that they were going to be runaway leaders. We thought that that was our first home match and uh, people were a bit disappointed at the time, but uh, I think we were the only team to take a pointer from the first seven or eight games. And it was same again with the visit of Walsall. John Paul McGovern netting a goal on his full debut for the Blades in a 1-1 draw. Saba, who does well to hold up a challenge from Roper. It's Sasaba. And a skewed his shot right at the target. But good play. Kenny's kick. Just beyond the Nura. And this is Danny Hay with an awful mistake. And Asaba's in here. And it's a goal line clearance in the end from Darren Baisley. Now John Paul McGovern trying to find some space. And this is Jagielka, a real power behind the shot to trouble James Walker. Here is Sean Murphy for Sheffield United. Oh dear, Corica's in here for Walsall. This is such a chance for the visitors, and he's taken it well. But a momentary lapse from Sean Murphy has given the Saddlers the lead. Steve Corica with the finish. McGovern. For Michael Brown. Needs support. He's got it on this left hand side. Neat play from United. There's been a foul on Rob Kosluck by Paisley. So free kick. Brown whips it into the box. And Walker goes down low. Saba glances on this time. Here is Baisley to clear for Walsall. Jagielka heading forward. Brown. And now Kozler. Going to search out in Europe. But McGovern's in here for Sheffield United. What a finish from John Paul McGovern. His first goal for the club 
His mum and dad are here as well, and he took it ever so well. Here's Leitao from a long way out. Oh, what a strike that was. Mark Wright with the eventual shot. Osaba. Now Jagielka from distance. Mark Wright loses out to Lawrence Ten Hoivel. And now Jagielka. United trying to find that winning goal. Ten Hoivel from distance this time. Walker is able to stop. Now, this is Peter Onlove with a bit of space to work with on that far side. Tom calling forward ahead of him, but Onlove will check in and go for goal. But once again, James Walker down low has been a busy goalkeeper. The first victory of the season came away at Burnley and our first clean sheet and a first United goal for Ife Onura. This is John Paul McGovern back towards Ifinura again, striking chance and in. Slight deflection, but the Blades have the lead through Ifinura. The last 15 minutes of our clash with Millwall provided all the goals in an exciting 3 1 victory. Michael Tong looks the lively striker of this ball. It will be Michael Tong, palmed away by the goalkeeper Tony Warner. And Millwall can clear. Kenny, aimed up towards Carla Saba, headed away by Nethercott, and then the ball's given away to Michael Tong. This is a decent chance for United. Just drags this shot wide of the upright. This is Saba, ball is swept away. This is Kine, neat skill, taken away from Kozler. Now Eiffel for Millwall. Trying to get work his way past Oliphorn here. He's got support coming forward on this near side with Lawrence. Good play, good looking cross as well. Coslett will try and get the ball away, and this is Paul Eiffel. Dear me. The call for John Paul McGovern. Incisive pass for Jaggy Alka. And Yura waits in the middle. Asaba was there as well. Now Tom. For Anura, just to flick it up for Osaba. And this is Jackie L. Cruz crept round the back. We've got to applaud the build up. McGovern to cut in. Good looking ball into the area. And not far wide in the end. Now, Millwall looking to attack down their left. Then comes the cross in towards Cahill. Jack Knife head up, but wide. Asaba, the top. Chance to attack this Millwall defence. Still with Michael Tong. This is a good run. Into the area, working his way past Robbie Ryan. And forced out wide again. And this is Jackie Elko with another opportunity. Closer, but not close enough. Nura, good play on. Asaba, good effort from Asaba on the volley. Played away here by Lawrence, but given away to Michael Tong, who will come forward again down that left hand side. This is a good run as well. As he got support in the box, Warner spills it, and Nura's in there, real old scrap. And Warner in the end can claim. Now this is Cahill. Good effort from Cahill, and always curling wide at the target. Now, might come through here towards Anura. Always rising. Asaba for Tong. Asaba again. No all defenders back off. Asaba straight into the chest of Tony Warner. Eiffel. This is good play, lovely skill from Paul Eiffel. Should have done better with a finish, and he knows it. Now Cahill coming forward. Millwall playing the ball about very well here. And the shot by Harris 
Saved by Kenny. Now, McGovern. And now Michael Tong. Into the box once again. Asaba coming through the centre. Still with Tong. Asaba! At last. It's taken a long time in coming. But it's arrived through Carla Saba. Saba's flick on. The crowd enjoying this now. On love. For Tong once again. Heavily involved tonight, Michael Tong. On the overlap is Olafor. In comes the cross. McGovern will try and flick it back in. But headed behind by Robbie Ryan for a corner. Driven in. Half cleared by Millwall. And this is... The call for Tong. Plenty of bodies weight in the box. Tong faced by Robbie Ryan, still with Michael Tong. Oh, yes! Michael Tong, that was exquisite. 2 0 to the Blades. Call. Get United moving again. And this is Tong once again. Millwall don't quite know how to handle him. Still with Michael Tong. Saved. And Asaba was lurking as well. And Millwall get out of jail. Paul Eiffel. This is a good run from Paul Eiffel. And that is a terrific goal from Paul Eiffel. And Millwall are back in the game. The call. It's lifting it forward for Tong again, this is another chance for United, Asaba comes back towards Peter Unlove, this could be three, it is three, and Peter Unlove rips off his shirt to celebrate three points for Sheffield United. The much anticipated trip across the city to our struggling neighbours brought little reward. Steal yourself for the Sheffield derby, it's the wise owls against the flashing blades, Sheffield a city divided by blue and white stripes and by red and white stripes. Tom looking to charge his way through here. This is some run. Oh! And it's flashed right across the six-yard box from Michael Tong, who has been in sparkling form this season. Well, he certainly has. It's the quick free kick. How many players did he go past here? Goes past one, goes past another. It's, it's like a sh cross shot, isn't it? And unfortunately, he just doesn't hit the target. It's a brilliant run from Michael Tong. Ian Hewer is up there with him, and others are arriving on the scene too. Oh, and Anura might still get there. McGovern! What a save from Kevin Pressman. John Paul McGovern on loan from Celtic. So nearly made his mark in the city of Sheffield. Well, it's the best moment of the game, isn't it? Brilliant save there from Kevin Pressman. Good play on the left-hand side there from Masaba. Ball's not cleared. McGovern picks his spot. It's a great save from uh, Kevin Pressman now. Looks up. Roll it in the bottom corner. Not doing that, says Kevin Pressman. McGovern himself takes the corner. Oh, and Pressman again managed to push it away as Ifian Nura won the aerial battle. Ifian Nura is the man. Good corner, great header from Nura. Another brilliant save from Pressman, and it's Ian Hendon who hacks it off the line. Tong again, we know what he can do, that's what he can do, and Kevin Pressman is caught up on again to bail out the Owls. Well, it's a good job, Kevin Pressman's in top form today, he's keeping him in the match, there could be two or three goals down, but for his saves, ball comes out to Tong again, what another fantastic run, cuts inside, it's a good strike, and a good save from Pressman. Oh, Stuart McCall, with a Sabre ahead of him, and, uh, oh, he's still going to go, Stuart McCall, Asaba to his left and he's found him, this could be it for Sheffield United, no, Kevin Pressman stands firm again, he has been outstanding for Wednesday today. It's going to be tight and tense for what remains of this derby, Knight sends it in, 
And Gucci. Oh, it's a loop. Header off the bar and a whistle. He's done it. He's done it. He's just come on. Quinn. Gucci. That should have glitched it. But there was better news in our away game against Norwich and five goals in what really could be called a game of two halves. It is Michael Brown through the wall in the net. A fantastic start for Sheffield United and for Michael Brown. Brown and Tong to aim for Onora as well. Flicks on and forced in for a second goal. Now here's Tong for Sheffield United breaking away at pace and Nora inside of him. But Tong may not need him. Michael Tong's going all the way here and Kenton comes across. Penalty kick to Sheffield United. But is there to be a third goal inside the first 35 minutes for Sheffield United? Carla Saba with the penalty. As Saba scores, it's 3 0. And Sheffield United are running away with things here. Five minutes short of half time, then Norwich in the first half to forget. corner this time in by Nedegaard for Nielsen is that the lifeline not too much time to go now Mackay's up there with a head of Malky Mackay 3-2 it was the start of a good run with consecutive victories over York Rotherham and Grimsby all at the lane here is Paddy Kenny London Europe Sit down here for Montgomery and Euro finishes on and this is John Paul McGovern. Tesco Salido wide to Montgomery again. Good build-up play from Sheffield United. And Montgomery just stopped in his tracks. Not a massive crowd inside Bramall Lane tonight for this Williams Cup tie. On paper, a dangerous looking one for Sheffield United. And they have a throw. In towards Murphy to provide the leverage, comes through here towards John Paul McGovern with the aid of a deflection, and Sheffield United have their noses in front, John Paul McGovern. Montgomery, that's a lovely ball for John Paul McGovern again. Pesca Salido calling for it, but Amura's in the box, makes contact with the ball, but just wide in the end. Kenny to clear, to Anura. Anura profits from the rebound, he's going to go for goal, dipping shot, good save by Fettis. <laughs> Olafilm with a free kick for the Blades, and lead 1-0. Anura to Pesca Salido, goes back towards Anura again, making a real old nuisance of himself, and that's another terrific save from Alan Fettis. Thorn heads clear. York will come back at United. And this is an opening. And Paddy Kenny has to be alert there. Thrown from Kozluk into the box. Fetis punches the ball away. Tries to lift another ball into the area. That's a good header from Nick Montgomery. And once again, Fetis to the rescue. A call for Michael Tong in towards the far post and Anura who just couldn't make contact. Now York will come forward again, they're desperately trying to get back into this game and once again Paddy Kenny forced into another save. Now Michael Tong with space to attack into here. Good skill from Michael Tong, lifted into the area, Asaba's there but Fetis just did enough. Now, Saba, good chance to break here for Sheffield United. In towards Montgomery, should have been two. <laughs> South Yorkshire's top two, toe to toe here at Bramall Lane this afternoon as Coslet will spear in a throw. And Nura flicks on, cleared by Dawes, but Coslet is still waiting on that far side. In comes the cross of Saba, challenging for the ball, and the Millers will get it clear temporarily. And Nura's header. Taken by Pollock. 
John Paul McGovern. Into the middle it goes, repelled by the Millers. Alan Lee was challenging there, but United keep possession. McGovern again, another chance to deliver the cross. Asaba this time, just grazes the outside of the net. McCall, for Pesca Salido, back from McCall once again. Lifting the ball into Murphy, good save Pollitt. Just to tip it to safety. The closest we've come. Govan's corner. Towards Jagielka this time. Good header from the youngster. McGovern. Pesca Salido. McIntosh challenging. McCall away from Mullen. Now Pesca Salido trying to squeeze his way between Scott and McIntosh here. Still with Pesca Salido. Asaba waiting. He went for the shot himself and it's saved once again by Mike Pollock. Kozluk's throw towards Asaba. Tong. Pesca Salido. He's got the better of Swales. Back towards Peter on love! And Peter Unlove scores for Sheffield United. And this battle between South Yorkshire's top two and the Blades are in front. Coslick's throw then. In towards Asaba and Murphy. Grimsby trying to get the ball away but don't quite manage it. And there's Coslick's cross into Asaba. Just over the top. Paul. Pesca Salido. Oh, lovely knockdown for Carla Saba, who might try his luck from a long way out. Dipping effort. Tom press plays to McGovern. Nicky brought down. That's wide on the right hand side for Costa. Pesca Salido. Come across his marker. Couldn't find the target. Now Coldicott for Cabba. Now Robinson, Robinson makes his way into the box as the cross is delivered, Paul Robinson, good move from the visitors, he knew exactly what he wanted to do Paul Robinson and he gives Grimsby the lead. Pesca Salido for Brown, and now Asaba on the angle, spilled by the goalkeeper, Pesca Salido to McGovern and now Asaba, force wide, Good cross towards Pesca Salido, spread at the goalkeeper. Paul's free kick there. Towards Murphy, Asaba. Didn't know too much about it, Carlos Asaba. McGovern. Chance for Sheffield United to press here. In towards Asaba, run under his boot. Tong side down, but play goes on. Caldercott looks to bring it away, but the call will put United back in possession. McGovern for Pesca Salido to chase here. Needs a good cross. And the header just over the top from Michael Tong. Michael Tong to take, straight at the wall. Tong again. Bobbling about all over the place. And Grimsby not managing to get the ball away. McGovern's effort. Wide. Picked on by Allison. Allison looking for the return ball but didn't get it. The call. In towards Wayne Allison. Good save from the goalkeeper. Brown. Now Tom. Oliver needs a good cross. Grimsby concede a corner kick. Tong's delivery in towards Wayne Allison, and he has scored. The substitute brings Sheffield United level, a master stroke by Neil Warnock to bring him on. And his clearance. Just beyond Wayne Allison, bouncing ball here, and this is Tong. Terrific goal, and that will seal the points for the Blades.
the run had lifted us well into the top half of the division, but ran out of steam at Gillingham. Paul Shaw creeping forward, this is Paul Shaw, beats Coslock and beats Kenny, and Gillingham are in front. Murphy knocks it down, and you was there, on love shot, Allison, and Sheffield United have equalised through Wayne Allison. The blades are level in Kent. Back at home, the magic was clearly gone. Our first defeat in six games came against Watford. Nielsen once again. And this is a decent run as well. Murphy lost out there and it's had to be turned away. Uh, Jagielka for a Watford corner. Delivery into the middle, punched away by Kenny. And Michael Tong has a chance to clear United's lines. It's a good ball as well in the end for John Paul McGovern. On the bracing through the centre. Whipped in towards Peter on love, holding it up well. Good shot on the turn. And Chamberlain with a good save. Brown, in towards Wayne Allison, Neil Cox will head this away, the Watford captain, the call, now Allison wins it away from his marker, Marcus Gale challenging, United will build again, neat play from McGovern, decent crossing opportunity here for United, up towards Allison, and Cox can clear again, and there's McCall with an acrobatic effort over the top. Koslick in a deep position for United, driving the ball into the middle. Chamberlain gathers the ball into his chest. And McGovern. Decent ball down the line for Peter Onlo. Attacking Marcus Gale, whipped into the middle. Allison! Just managed to get there to turn the ball in. Took out a long right leg and United lead. up on the left this time. Deep cross, grants the way. Jagielka just keeps it in. And now McCall assesses the options, lifts it into the middle. Cleared away, this is Michael Tong. Chamberlain saves yet again. Now this is Micah Hyde, bursting through the midfield. Hyde Helgerson goes down, and the referee has blown his whistle and he's reaching for his pocket. Jagielka says what for to the linesman and he's off. That is an unbelievable decision. The resulting penalty will be taken by Neil Cox. He whacks it home. Controversy at Bramall Lane. Jagielka sent off. Cox converts the penalty. One apiece. Nielsen. Cut in, he's got support on the outside with Robinson. A low cross into the middle, and that's 2 1, it's Helgerson. <laughs> Olafor swings it into the middle. This is Allison with a chance. Off. Very close. Brown's free kick. In towards Wayne Allison again with a knockdown and Page was sniffing around. Now, Michael Balding into the penalty area. Can he create something? He's won a corner. Taken by Michael Brown. Real old scrap and Page was up for it. Brown to take this free kick. Neatly to the edge of the box, Tong, good save, Chamberlain. And the rebound can't be at home by Balding. It's still they applaud. Montgomery's throw, in towards Murphy. Couldn't sit down for Allison, and there's Unlove. Unlove challenging here with Cox. Clear to this near side and Michael Hyde, who is dispossessed by Michael Tong. He will look to race forward, Michael Tong, but it's clipped by Hyde. It's already been booked, Michael Hyde. 
And could it be the second player of the afternoon to be sent off? He is, and both sides will finish with ten men. Micah Hyde sent off. Morale was restored by a 4-1 League Cup victory against Wickham, which was followed up with a 3-1 win over Wolves in the league. Wayne Allison. Jaggy Elka straight from the kickoff. Now, John Paul McGovern lifting it forward. That's a good ball for Jaggy Elka again here. Good effort. Two early opportunities for Phil Jagielka. Governor's free kick swept in towards Wayne Allison. Allison to make on. Helps on towards John Paul McGovern. And this is Michael Brown sliding it forward into the path of Jagielka again. When will he score? Cleared by Taylor. Now this is Balding, neat turn, gets it back from Allison. still with Michael Balding. Michael Balding! He scores on his debut, it is Michael Balding! A man on loan from Aston Villa opens his account at Bramall Lane. to come forward again. Deals for a foul, but play goes on, and John Paul McGovern looks to try and scramble his way forward. And Wickham clear up towards halfway, and then it's given away to Michael Tong. Here's Balding once again. Making a menace of himself, cuts it back and swept in by Brown. It was all too easy. And it's 2-0 to United. Michael Tong, straight at Taylor. Now, Michael Brown with a powerful run. Tong on the outside. Here is Michael Tong. And he goes down in the area, that's going to be a penalty, surely. Well, the referee says not. here and Peter Unlove may well capitalise, knocks it round the goalkeeper and handling outside the box there was Taylor. The ball is in the back of the net but the referee wants to pull it back to send the goalkeeper off. Straight red for Taylor and handling outside the box. And Brown has had to take over the goalkeeping jersey. immediate responsibility is to face a free kick. Michael Brown will take it, he'll go for goal, Michael Brown, it spills here towards Allison, and Jackie Elker again is there, but he still can't score. Michael Tom. That's a nice reverse ball for Oliver. Good looking cross as well, and Brown manages to beat it down and claim it at the second attempt. Murphy clearing the United's lines. Lawrence Ten Heuvel. It's a good ball as well for Nick Montgomery to get onto. Montgomery for Sheffield United. 3 0 to Sheffield United. In the pouring rain. Montgomery again. Brown. Now Murphy sweeping it forward. Peter Onlo will scamper forward for Sheffield United. Still with Onlo. This is a good run. And his route is blocked. 
Hartwood can half clear, but only as far as Michael Brown. With a good run into the box, Michael Brown, emphatic finish. That is 4-0 to Sheffield United. We kick for Wickham, lifted into the area, and they pull one back, but it's too little, too late. Wolves come forward with Ray. Now this is Andar playing the ball into the middle and turned in his own goal by Rob Ollathorne. Jagielka. Wolves don't clear and look at this, Michael Tong in space, they're level. Michael Tong driving the ball in. Ollathorne's cross, aim towards Wayne Allison, yes, 2-1. Contagious free kick. Deep into the area, Murphy knocks it down, Brown is there, and this is Michael Tong! Oh my word, what a goal! Michael Tong on the volley, 3-1 to the Blades! The two away performances at Norwich and Wolves were excellent, and uh, you know I think that we showed that we could go anywhere and, and get a good result. And uh, uh, At home we started off a little bit patchy, but I think we come quite good there as well, so it's, it's promising. You know, if we, Obviously we're going to have periods of, of, of two or three games where we don't win games, but I think everybody is in the league. It's, it's one of those wide open leagues, and you know, even Arsenal had four games without winning and losing four on the trot. So it happens to everybody really, but you've just got to get, get through those periods. And again, the run of victories extended to four. Brighton and Stoke were the next victims. Zamora. Good cross. Barrett, another header. 2 0. Not bad from a side. Bottom of the table. Brown. Chance to strike. And in. 2 1. Michael Tom. This is a terrific run. Asaba there in support. Carl Asaba. 2 2. Just another sub. And he's equalised. Saba looking to get forward here, he's clipped, it's a penalty kick, and he scores the penalty kick. Now Wayne Allison goes down, it's another penalty. Carlos Saba for his hat-trick and the win! He scores, what a remarkable comeback from Sheffield United. 4-2. Stoke trying to find a way forward, they can't this time. Tom forced to knock it back to Paddy Kenny. United could go third. If they get the right result tonight, they've got to win by two clear goals. Here is John Paul McGovern. Scampering away down that far side for Sheffield United. It's a good effort, this. Easy enough save for the goalkeeper. Asaba. McGovern again, placed by Clark. Now Kozler, right foot across. Can Asaba work the opening here? Just grazes the post, and Allison just couldn't get there. Gielka for Asaba. Nice play from the Blades. Allison on the overlap for Brown here, but it's a good tackle going in. But Asaba keeps it going. Allison now for Sheffield United. But for a moment, that was in. Allison knocking the ball down. Asaba. Allison again. And now Tong. Just scramble his way past Good Johnson. Still with Michael Tong. This is a terrific run. The final product just wasn't there. McGovern. Will Tong once more. Saba takes over, faced by Handyside. Good cross from the striker. Allison's header should have done better. You're going to put money on Wayne Allison scoring from there. Now Brown from distance. Now this is Clark racing forward. And Page gets a bit of a hash of the clearance. Peter Hookstra. Game of kick-ups in the area finds Clark. In towards the front post, Kenny blocks it. And cleared away by Kozluk. Hookstra lets it run for Cook, but Hookstra continues his run into the area. And that is a good save from Paddy Kenny. And Hookstra looks to the skies. 
Unlove. Finding Bolding. And Bolding is wrestled to the floor by Handyside, and that will be a free kick to the Blades. Good Brown to take it. Plenty of movement in the box. Half cleared, this is Michael Bolding. And now Tong to clip one into the area. Glanced on by Allison. Unlove off the post. Handy side own goal. Sheffield United have the breakthrough. The unfortunate person is Peter Handyside. There is Bolding in a wide position. And now Tom brings it down. Bit of space to work with. And he's brought down. That's going to be a penalty. Michael Brown to take the resulting penalty kick. Michael Brown for the Blades, top corner, as sure as you like, and United have that two-goal cushion. Stoke through kick then, helped on, and there's Greenacre unmarked, and he slammed it home for Stoke. Sadly, we don't have pictures of Carlos Sabas saving a point against Wimbledon with his equaliser in the third minute of added time. But there was no last-second reprieve against Derby, where we went down to 2-1 defeat, or Forest, where the strike force was shut out and three goals shipped by the defence. It wasn't the best of preparations for a League Cup tie with Leeds United, 35 miles away up the road, but a world away in terms of the Premiership riches. But nothing could dampen enthusiasm amongst Blades fans, players or management for such a game. To say we could have gone second if we'd have beaten Derby on, on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, I think uh, they've done remarkably well, even though I think we should have had more points in the bag. Um, you know, we've lost three or four games I thought we should have won. But the lads have generally improved if we've gone along. You know, the young lads are getting uh, more regular in the first division and what it's about. And the experienced lads have done well and they're blending quite well. When we talked towards the end of last season, you said that you thought a playoff place was a, a definite aim for this season things seem then to be going according to plan yeah i think we've got to aim for that you know i mean uh, i don't think there's anything in the league to to be unduly worried about uh, and it's a long season i know we've only gone a third of the way as we talk now but it's a hell of a long season and i think we've got as good a chance as anybody as being one of those underdogs that uh, come through and, and try and sneak in them playoffs I think uh, we've been very lucky to sign Paddy Kenny like we have. I think he's, he's improved as he's gone along in goals there. I think the midfield of, of, uh, of Yagi Elka and Tong, who catching all the, he seems to be catching everybody's eye, but I think in general he's improving as well. Uh, there's a lot more to come from him. Michael Brown is, is almost back to fitness as we talk. Stuart McCall's doing well, um, and I think Wayne Allison's been a big plus. Um, I think in general he's done well for us uh, to say that he wasn't going to be uh, the first choice at all, he only came as cover. Bit of a shaky start and uh, we all knew after two or three games that we could do a lot better. And, um, and it's gone on from there. I mean, I think the worst game so far this season, or well, the, the way the lads felt, is uh, probably Walsall at home. Uh, disappoint we were all disappointed with that. And especially watching from the side, it was, frustrating. it was a frustrating game to watch. But, um, you know, since then we've picked up a head of steam and, uh, and you know, I don't think the, the table lies. And I think where we are at the moment, sixth spot, is, uh, is a true reflection of how we're doing at the moment. And I think we're doing, you know, quite well. Yeah, we've got so many good, exciting players here and uh, we've got some experienced lads and it's very nice to be here at the moment. Very exciting um, and you've got to be really playing well to hold your position down because we've, we've got great competition in the squad. And the game coming up against Leeds United, that's obviously a big Yorkshire derby, very important to the fans. How do the players look at that one? Well, you know, we're, we know we're playing against some of the best players in England, it's, you know, in Europe even. So we're excited, um, the manager's excited, the crowd, everyone's excited. We enjoy those kind of games, it'll be a great atmosphere and we're glad it's at home. And I think it's one that the lads have enjoyed, you know, they deserved it because in the two home games against York and Wickham, I thought we were very, very professional, especially against Wickham. I didn't think we let them have one one minute in the whole 90 and uh, the difficult games then so I was guys quite pleased about that. Well what a game not just for the players but for the fans as well um, it's like a, you know it's a local game so uh, I know the crowd will, be, will certainly be up for it the lads will definitely be up for it and uh, you know it's, it's a good one to test ourselves against they're, they're a premiership big premiership club and uh, it'll be interesting to see how we do. Useful ball in here to Kuehl and a touch wide from him to Barnby Oh, that's clever play from Kuehl, it brings Mills into the attack and a raking shot. Well covered by Paddy Kenny. Brown now for United, very much their playmaker and a hitter of a good shot here as well. 
sure an excitement of the night this coming from the more former Manchester City man Michael Brown hard and a raking shot this one and Robinson who's in prime form at the moment down for it here comes Wilcox for Leeds and he's in here Wilcox danger to the Sheffield United goal and indeed it is put into his own goal by Steve Yates and now it's Leeds who will pull everybody back behind the ball Jagielka takes it. Knocked down by Woodgate. Only out as far as McCall. He's going to have a go at goal here. It's a long time since Stuart McCall uh, registered in this competition. He do Kurt, he'll use his strength here. He might shoot as well. He does. A thrilling effort and the save of the night so far from Paddy Kenny. Rasping try from the Australian. Any drama to be had in the last seconds of the opening half. It's a Saba here. Still a Saba. Whips it in and no own goal at this end of the field for the time being. Woodgate got it all right. And look at the urgency on the face of the England defender. He goes a Saba though and muscle his way in here. It's Woodgate who gets foot on ball. Bowyer doesn't get rid of it, however. And uh, there's a free kick here. Surprising play from uh, Michael Tong. And the 19-year-old has won his side a free kick in a brilliant position. And the referee wants to get involved as well. <laughs> he wants to know what they're going to do with it. No doubt Robinson does too. It looks like being Tong, as the other two probably separate. That's exactly what happens. Well, how on earth did that miss? I doubt Robinson saw a thing. I certainly don't think he moved very much. It's through, Robinson didn't move, Backer had stationed himself there, and it's flashed by. Hence the probing, hence here comes Kewell, will let fly surely? Nice try, Harry Kewell. Jackie Elka did well, and now it's Tom, and he'll really run at them here. He's slipping Wade Allison in, Wade Allison, can he finish? No, Robinson stands up and makes himself tall, a hard target to beat. Paul Robinson. There's a break on here for Pesky Solido within seconds of his arrival on the field. Allison's pull back is to Tong. And here's a chance, and Brown drives it directly at the fingers of Robinson. So they're asking questions of Leeds right now. And with all this uh, reorganisation in the Leeds rank and the substitutions, and they've conceded a free kick here now. Michael Brown can be very effective with these. There's only a two-man wall in front of him. He can surely find a way through that. He'll square it. It's McCall. Well, it's a fizzer, but it's over and wide. He's not uh, a regular goal scorer by any means, of course, these days. Stuart McCall, but it's a decent try. He'll try and measure a ball through to Viduka here. It's Viduka against Jagielka. He's done some terrific work in defence tonight. Doesn't want to be fooled now by Viduka's footwork, but Viduka's still in, still Viduka, crunching shot, fine save, Paddy Kenny. The keeper's had little to do in this half, but he's a terrific shot stopper, and Viduka nods his appreciation. Strength there from Mark Viduka, power in the shooting, and a terrific stop. There's another exciting break from Tom. He's a good cross in here. Leeds should be able to cover their tracks with Hart's clearing header. Doesn't get very far. This does. Oh, oh my goodness me! What a goal from Phil Jagielka! Stunning shot. Absolutely stunning. And they are going wild at Bramall Lane. They've rarely threatened a goal all night, and when it's come, well, I reckon it's the best I've seen this season. This is a hot shot. 35 yards, it flew past Paul Robinson's right hand. It takes something to beat Robinson, and this was hot enough. Fabulous strike, his first goal of the season. And Neil Warnock still jumping up and down. What a piece and what a goal from Phil Jagielka. They stand and applaud all around the stadium. And look, there's a break through the middle from Pesky Solido. The crowd roars him on. Into the area he goes, he stands up well. Can Sheffield United win it dramatically here? Chance and love! 
Alisson's in here, he can't score, but Unlove can, and Sheffield United may have snatched the most dramatic of victories here against the old enemy from up the M1. It's all red and white at Bramall Lane now, and Peter Unlove, the substitute, has smashed the ball into the Leeds net, and Terry Venable's misery continues. Where is he going to get a win from at the moment? But the red half of Sheffield is on its feet. The ball in from Pesky Solido. Unlove couldn't get through. Allison couldn't. Unlove could the next time. He just slotted it down the alleyway. And it's Sheffield United 2, Leeds United 1. And both goals have come in time added on. It's just like Manchester United against Bayern Munich in Barcelona. Unbelievable. What a turnaround in two minutes. We've lost the ball, mind you. Someone has kept it as a souvenir and there are no more on the touchline. Paul Robinson certainly cannot believe it. And Leeds United's misery in this competition goes on. They reached the final, of course, in 1996, only to lose to Aston Villa. But they've been beaten here at Bramall Lane in the most dramatic of circumstances. Delight for Neil Warnock and his battling blades. Peter Undlove with the winner. The goal of the night came from Phil Jagielka, though. And so that own goal from Steve Yates doesn't matter one jot in the final analysis. And Sheffield United have beaten Leeds United 2-1 to go through to the next round of the Worthington Cup. Have you ever seen a better strike than the one from Phil Jagielka? Well, it's been coming. Um, he must have missed 15 sitters from me from about three or four yards so far this season. And every time he holds his hand and I, and I look at him. So tonight, it was, I think it's about time he repaired me. Did you get the feeling as soon as you hit it and it was on its way? Um, yeah, the ball came out, it just, I sort of chested up and it just sat up perfectly. So I just thought, why not? So I um, hit it and I was um, quite happy with the strike. The best you've ever hit? By far, yeah, to be honest, yeah. Maybe a couple in training now, that was definitely the best. I thought the two substitutions would make an in a difference and uh, I thought Pesky always gives a lift to the crowd and I thought if we were the right timing, and uh, even if we'd have lost 1-0, I'd have been quite proud of them tonight. Probably one of the best results in my career, really, regarding what I'll remember when I'm on my tractor. Oh! Oh, my goodness me! What a goal from Phil Jagielka! in here, he can't score, but Unlove can, and Sheffield United may have snatched the most dramatic of victories here against the old enemy from up the M1.